problem number 11. Let V be the vector 4, 3, negative 8. This is part A, I guess. W is the vector 1, negative 2, and 2. Well, we're, we're asked to find a unit vector in the same direction as V minus 3W. So to do V minus 3W, it's just the component of V minus 3 times the corresponding component of W for each slot. 4 times 3 times 1. 4 minus 3 times 1 is 1. 3 minus uh, 3 times negative 2. Negative 8 minus 3 times 2. And so this is 1. Uh, this will be, uh, that looks like 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. Negative 8 minus 6 is negative 14. Okay, so this is our vector v minus 3w to find a unit vector. What we need is that we need to find the magnitude of v minus 3w. So it's a sum of, so it's a square root of 1 squared plus 9 squared plus negative 14 squared, which is 1 plus 81 plus 196. And so what is that going to be? If my mental math is right, that's two square root of 278. So the unit vector is 1 over square root of 278 times 1, 9, and negative 14. You can distribute that 1 over square root of 278 through, uh, through the vector if you want. Part B. And this is the new part B. Hopefully you have the new version of this. Um, find the area of the triangle with vertices 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. This, is, this doesn't have to do with, with the previous part. I just put these together. So our points here are 0, 0, 1, uh, 2, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. And so we want to find the area of this triangle. And so how do we do that? Well, we know that if we call this vector v and this vector w here, that the magnitude of the cross product of v cross w gives you the area of this parallelogram. The area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. So our area of the triangle is going to equal 1 half times the magnitude of V cross W, where V is going from 0, 0, 1 to 2, 1, 2, W is going from 0, 0, 1 to 3, 2, 1. Uh, what are V and W? V is going to be 2, 1, 1. W is going to be 3, 2, 0. So V cross W, I hat, J hat, K hat, 2, 1, 1. 3, 2, 0. So i hat times uh, 0 minus 2. So minus 2 i hat. Uh, minus j hat cover cover uh, 0 minus 3. And then uh, plus k hat times 4 minus 3. So this is negative 2 plus 3 plus one. Okay, so if you check check that the cross product is in fact orthogonal to both V and W, it is. And so we our area is going to be one half times the magnitude of this, negative two squared plus three squared plus one squared. It's one half times the square root of one half times the square root of 14. Okay, that was problem 11. Uh, take a look at problem 12. Find an equation of the plane containing the points 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. And that it's parallel to the line uh, with equation 1 plus t, negative 1 plus t and 2t. So to come up with the equation of a plane, we need two things. We need a point and we need the normal vector. 
uh, we have two points. We can we can use either point here, but the normal vector is going to be a little bit tricky thing. So here we have we're told that our plane is parallel to this line, and we can rewrite this line as one negative one zero plus t times one one two. So you can see here that one one two. This is the vector associated with the line. This is the this is pointing in the direction of the line. So this, this line is actually parallel. The, the vector 1, 1, 2 is actually parallel with our plane. So the you know, first kind of mistake that you might make here is that you might just say, okay, our point is 1, 2, 0. Our normal vector is 1, 1, 2. No, this is, this is a direct, this is going to be parallel to the plane. So we have, you know, this, this line is supposed to be parallel to this plane. The direction vector here is 1, 1, 2. So the idea then is that we're going to find the normal vector by taking the cross product of two vectors that we know are parallel to the plane. And so the other vector that will have parallel to the plane is a direction vector from 1, 2, 0 to 0, 2, 1. So we can translate this 1, 1, 2 vector down in here. This is 1, 1, 2. Vector v is the direction vector from 1, 2, 0 to 0, 2, 1. And then when we take the cross product of these two vectors, when we take the cross product of these two vectors, we'll get something that is orthogonal to both of them. It will be the normal vector for our plane. How do we do this? Okay, v is going to be negative 1, 0, 1. And so we're doing v cross 1, 1, 2. And so this is going to be v cross 1, 1, 2, i hat, j hat, k hat, negative 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. And so we end up with i hat times 0 minus 1, and then minus j hat times negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, uh, and then plus k hat times negative 1 minus 0. So our direction vector is negative 1, 3, negative 1. Check for yourself that this is orthogonal to both negative 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 2. It is. So we have a normal vector negative one, three, negative one, a point. We can use either one of these points here. And so our equation of the plane, um, negative one times x minus one, plus three times y minus two, plus, uh, I guess, negative one times z minus zero is equal to zero. So negative 1, 3, negative 1 from the normal vector, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0. That's where everything slots in.